I broke it. <laughs> I did it. I broke it. I broke my grocery streak. I had went like two or three two-week hauls, but I broke it this time. But, you know, let me explain. Me and Maddie were getting our hair cut. There's a food line in the same little shopping center, and I needed some shampoo, and I needed some milk. So we just were going to run in there, and my mom had told me to check their ad. They had a good sale. So I looked at it. And I had some time, which I don't normally have time, to walk through a grocery store. So that's what we did. We just walked to the store, which is always dangerous. But here was my goal. I did have a few things on the sale that I wanted to check on. They had some pork butts for 99 cents. None of those were left. Uh, they have a lot of different brands at Food Line and their store brands. I don't shop there, so I don't know if they're any good. The way things are, I'm having to shop at Food Line a little bit more because there's one kind of on the route I take a lot. So I thought it was time that I acquaint myself with their store brands. You know, there, there comes a time in every old girl's life where I need to try some new things. It's time for me to go some new places and see what I think. Maybe do things a little different. It's okay. So that's what I took this opportunity to do. I got some store brands to try. Since then, I've had their corn chips. They're pretty good. Um, their snack cakes. My husband loved their snack cakes, and that was mainly for him. You know, we're okay with some of the food line stuff. We're good with that. So now I know. I didn't know that I loved Kroger brand until I tried them. So I had to try these things. I spent about 130 at Food Line, but I got a lot of things for lunches and snacks that will last me about two weeks, you know, anyhow. And I have a confession. That was Friday night, Friday afternoon that I did Food Line. And then Monday after work, I had to go by Walmart. Not a good idea. But I had to do it. I ran in there for an under-the-bed storage container. Yeah, I saw some other things. I looked at some stuff. I'll show you the haul. So be sure to stay after the food line haul for the Walmart haul. I got some fun stuff. And you know how it is at Walmart. I just had a little slip up here. But it's fine. We can do this. Before I get started with showing you what I've got. Yes, there are a lot of snacks in here. It takes some snacks to keep my man happy. And I found some deals. It's for lunches and that kind of stuff. And just some things that we needed. Anyhow, they had Coke 12-pack products. Three for 11, which was a really good deal. So I got a 12-pack of Diet Dr. Pepper, Diet Coke, and Coke Zero. I don't always buy those, but I like to treat my girls every now and again. And they had my husband's Diet Mountain Dews, these uh, six packs. These were three for nine, so he didn't really need them just yet, but that was too good a deal to pass up. We use this every week in wraps for lunches. So I went ahead and got two of the spreadable whipped cream cheeses, and I got some bagels too. Sour cream, we had to get light. We won't die. It will be fine, I'm sure. Use this a lot in recipes. Went ahead and grabbed another big package of turkey breast because we have just about went through our turkey that I got at Kroger's last week. Needed a gallon of milk. You guys know the shampoo saga. If you've been here a while, my youngest daughter has thick, beautiful hair. Her suave, they've changed it. They're charging more for it. At first, it just says it's a new bottle, but there is something in it. It is not doing good with her hair. It's It doesn't feel right. So I said, let's get this really cheap daily clarifying shampoo and conditioner. Going to get that for her to try on her beautiful thick hair. Then I just got some of this Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner. Um, I can use that. Y'all know I heavily highlight my hair. So a little extra shine would never be bad for me to have. 
got the Thomas Bagels um, chocolate chip. I've never seen these before. And I got this and these two items. They run a deal where if you buy three products that are in the mix and match, you get a dollar off of each one. So I got, in that deal, I got these chocolate chip bagels. I've never had this brand, but I'm sure it will not disappoint. We got some drizzled black and white popcorn. It's a kettle corn, actually, drizzled with some chocolate. And then I just got some sea salt popcorn. I like to have this on hand to take to work and stuff because I love salty snacks. Oh, he's taking it. <laughs> I have to hide snacks from him. He knows this. He knows the snacks are hidden from him. If I don't, they will all be gone. That is why I have to buy them so often. I got him some chocolate-covered mini donuts. Then, me and Maddie, we love the lemon stuff. And I said, I'll get these little lemon ones and um, for us, and then we'll get Dad these, and that might keep him out of these for us. I went ahead and got some of this nacho cheese every now and again. You just want some old, like, ballpark nacho cheese stuff. And this just tastes just like it. I got my daughter a couple of packs of gum. I got two cans of Spam. Spam has not been on sale recently anywhere. Um, I guess a lot of people are buying it because they're worried about, you know, having things shelf-stable for the future. I loved Spam before prepping was even a thing around here. So I got two of those. I can't remember who I saw have this in a grocery haul, this cheesy taco seasoning mix. Um, I can't wait to try that. I normally just do a very cheap taco seasoning, but I'm excited to try this. Pringles, this is another one of my husband's favorites, and these cans are good for him to take to work. He takes his lunch a lot, and stuff like this, he can, it's nice and it's sealed up. He can leave it in his locker, you know, for the whole week or whatever. I'll just have to hide them from him. Till, uh, till I put them in his lunch. These little crackers, sandwich crackers, I buy these a lot. I also like to take them to work. These again, these lemon cream, Nicot. Me and Maddie absolutely love these. And these were all the Lance ones were on sale for $2.49, which is a great deal. So I got those. My husband loves these. They're the cream cheese and chive on Captain's Wafers. Also, peanut butter and honey on Captain's Wafers, and then the peanut butter on the cheesy ones. And um, I did get some Star Crunches. This is one of my favorite. Been in them <laughs> already, but I like these. They're just gooey and yummy. These Tasty Cakes, all of their stuff was like half price, and I just thought these looked so good. Buttercream Ice Cupcakes, and we have had these before. I got two of these loaves of this um, French bread, and it feels so good. We'll make some sandwiches on this. Produce, really, I just needed another head of lettuce for salad and that kind of stuff. And then I enjoyed my fried squash and zucchini so much, I got me another one of each. Now let's talk about these Food Lion products. I think their mayonnaise was $2.49, so we're going to try it. You know, if I don't like it, we'll still eat it probably. <laughs> but I've just spent $2.50. And if I do like it, think of the money that we can save. I got him uh, some peanut butter, like Nutty Bars and Swiss Rolls in the Food Line brand. These were so cheap. Here's the real kicker. The Food Line Doritos. I don't know. Doritos are hard to top. I've not found anybody that is this good. But we're going to give them a try. We'll taste test them here in a minute. Corn chips, I love, and I am not really necessarily brand loyal on just original corn chips. I just like to eat them by themselves. They had some scoops in Food Line brand, and these are like a dollar forty. And then I did get some veggie straws for my daughter. So let's try these Doritos. They look a little different than name brand Doritos. Let's give them a taste. They taste fine. They're okay. They don't taste exactly like a Dorito, but they're not exactly a Dorito. Patrick said they're fine with him, so the snacker has spoken. <laughs> he will do the food line 
Doritos. Uh, leave me a comment down below how you feel about store brands. What are your favorite ones and what are your least favorite ones? And let's help each other out. Okay, here's my little Walmart haul. I'll show you everything. And I did get the under the bed container. It's already under the bed. Uh, these were sticking out when I walked by. These Diet Dr. Thunders. Very rarely find those in stock. So I grabbed that. I got some vegetable oil and some cooking spray. Just because it's much cheaper at Walmart than anywhere I've seen. And I know I just opened probably my last one of each of those. These were out in the middle, so I just grabbed them. They were 88 cents, garlic powder and onion powder. My husband has really been going through that kind of stuff on the smoker. I can always use a loaf of bread. So I got this Sara Lee honey wheat. Now we get over into the fun stuff. Let me show you this first. This is a pretty green. I hope it comes across on camera. Sorry. My husband just started his motorcycle. Okay, this is so cute. This was in the pajama area. And they had these little sets that you bought each, each piece separate. This is a beautiful green. And they also had this in a periwinkle blue. I think they called it purple. And a yellow. And maybe a pink. But she absolutely loved this. It has this little eyelet lace detail at the top. And the straps are like wide straps like this. And this is kind of like elastic-y, like stretchy. So it's going to like stay up on you good. And then it has the little shorts that go with it. And they have pockets. Now also, they have a gown version of this. It's like a shorter gown. And they had it in all of the same colors plus an ivory. And I almost got it, but I didn't. But here's what I got. Y'all know I am always good for some lounging clothes or some pajamas. And I love these cheap Walmart ones. They're really good quality. So comfy and so cute. But my PJ sets, this whole set, because mine are two-piece sets, this one was $12.98. And it's so cute. It's gray. It's very soft. It's all multicolored. And it says wild at heart. Then here are the pants. They're gray, so soft, like a leopard look. And every so often you see the colors, you know, that were like in the top. And they have this little cuff, but they have pockets. Look at the pocket there. It's a nice pocket. It's like cut in right here. Nice and roomy. And this set, this was apparently a Valentine's Day set. I got this for $9. I did not know this was clearance. And it is very soft. And it's just gray. And it has little leopard spots. But they're like in the shapes of hearts. Or like snuck in every now and again. Super soft and cute. They also have this kind of elastic on the bottom. And they have pockets too. It's like not um, cut in. But it's still a nice big pocket. So, I can't wait to lay around in my new pajamas. Then, I saw this little four-pack of color-changing cups. And, you know, I wanted to have some fun, too. Those would be good for summer. I needed a new Scentsy. I always have to go and smell the little wax melters. This pear and spun sugar is so good. It just smells yummy. And then... I'm making a taco pizza tonight, and I already have a pizza crust. I bought it a long time ago to do something else with, and I haven't done it yet. And when I looked at my recipe, it said you needed to use two pounds of taco meat. I'm not sure if I'm really going to need that or what, but anyhow, I went ahead because I thought, I don't know how big the crust is that I have, if that's going to hold it. So I just got another one of these in case I need it. And I saw this. Y'all know I got the Old El Paso one. This is what my friend Kathy had was the McCormick Cheesy Taco. So I thought I'll make this tonight since I'm going to make two pounds. And if we don't use it on the pizza, we can eat it. But um, I'm going to use this tonight and then I'll save the Old El Paso one and try it one night when I'm just making one pound of meat. 
And I got some buttermilk. Y'all were crazy about the buttermilk cake that I showed you I had left over from my mom's. So I'm going to make one of those this week and share it with you. I grabbed a bell pepper and I thought, okay, I have already let myself down here. I've been to the store at Food Line and now here I am at Walmart spending money. And I also didn't lay my dinner meat out in the fridge to thaw or anything. So I thought I'm going to make it easier on myself. I am going to go ahead and buy two more already thawed out things of meat to make my taco pizza. But then this happened. We ended up being Chick-fil-A and I didn't make my taco pizza. So I'm going to make it tonight. I feel like such a failure. So friends, <laughs> I'm embarrassed <laughs> and ashamed <laughs> of myself. But you know what? It happens. It's life. I've had my fun. I tried some new stuff at Food Line. It was fine. It's good. I've got some more cheap options from another store now if I need them. I got me some new PJs at Walmart, so I should have that out of my system for a little while. I've got these uh, cute little cups right back here that I can enjoy drinking out of. So uh, anyway, here's a grocery haul I didn't expect. Thank you all so much for being here. I love and appreciate each one of you. Tomorrow, you're watching this on Wednesday. Tomorrow is one year to the day that I posted my very first YouTube video. I'll link it at the end of this grocery haul. If you have a chance, watch it. It's chilly oh chilly. Guys, don't be too hard on me. I was just learning, but that little video is so special to me because you just don't know what it took for this old dog to learn some new tricks and put myself out there and you have made it so worth my while. I love each and every one of you. I have loved getting to know you. You don't know what you have done to brighten each of my days. You bring me so much encouragement and I love the community that we have here together. Until I see you Sunday night friends, thank you so much for a wonderful year. And I send you love from my kitchen.